Hi everyone, it's me again. Today I'm bringing back Dorian, and I can't tell you how excited I am. I recently got a Dorian wig commissioned from Electric Kid, and I am absolutely thrilled because now I can bring him back and not use my natural hair, because that's what I was using before. Which was a huge commitment, because his hair is very strange, and uh, <laughs> it's not exactly how I want to always have my hair. So it's fantastic to have a wig now. I'm also lucky enough to have an amazing moustache from beardsandmustaches.co.uk, I recommend them. Uh, I got the black moustache, apart from I had to trim it a huge amount for it to fit my face. It was massive, it was like, it filled the entire lower half of my face. Uh, so yeah, I had to trim that down a bit, so be careful uh, when you're trimming them, because you don't want to completely ruin the stitching, so make sure you're not trimming any vital points. And then I've, I've got the little soul patch as well, uh, which I just made from another fake moustache, I just cut it out. Really cheap fake moustache I bought, you know, those ones you find in like joke shops. Just get one of those, cut them up, make the soul patch. Easy as that. It is incredibly sunny today, going in and out uh, of the clouds, um, so I may have to, at some points, wear these. Oh look, the sun came out just as I said that, that's so well timed. Um, I, I don't really know if Dorian's gonna suit these. I mean, I am completely kidding, it's just, it, it's quite blinding, so I'm squinting quite a bit if you haven't already noticed. But anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? Enchanters, the time has come to be alive in the circle of my child. terrible at using wig tape. I've only ever used it once before, which was to try on this wig. I've never used wig tape before, so I'm so sorry if it was not the right way to use it or if I did it wrong. Some of it peeled off wrong. I, I, I'm a novice learning how to use it, so, but it, it's fixed to my head, so that's what's important, really. So I've got the trousers on. 
and uh, I'm gonna put the rest of it on, which is actually very difficult. I'm gonna try and show you how difficult it is. But I don't know how I'm gonna do that because there's not much room in the frame. This was such a mission to make, such a mission, and it is kind of falling apart now, which is sad. <laughs> um, but overall I'm so proud of it and I hope I can just keep repairing it, although I'm guessing I'm probably going to grow out of it someday. So I may have to make another one, a replacement of it. Right. I wish I could show you what's hanging off me right now, so I've got... <laughs> that, that's the spellbook thing. It just sort of dangles from all of it until I can attach it all, and it's very heavy. Um, oh, I need a pin or something. The other thing about this cosplay oh, is that I can't really move in it. It's, uh, <laughs> it's um, quite restricting, uh, which is very annoying. Just buttoning it up. But yes. Overall, I am very proud of it. Um, honestly, I didn't think I could do it. I didn't think I could make this cosplay. I looked at other people who made it and I was like, how the hell did you do that? Just how? And But all I did was I broke it down into sections and I slowly thought about every part of it. And... Um... And I slowly got it done. And I feel like that is the technique for really complicated cosplays. Just look at the look at reference images of it. P you know, do it be piece by piece. Don't go crazy and just try to do the whole thing at once. Just look at it. Like I don't know. Like it, there was ingredients to a recipe. Like small, small parts to a huge piece. Um, and that way it won't look so daunting. But because this year I want to make Fenris's armor. So that's going to be another big test for me <laughs> in armor making because I am not skilled at all. This was my first ever armor build and I have a lot to learn, I really do. Well at least the mustache is still here. That's good news. Okay. Right. Now all the other parts. I'm going to show you this. So we've got this that just ties the ribbon, which is very primitive. Uh, you have to contort yourself so far around to do this. This is where you need someone to help you. But it's just me on my lonesome. Sorry about my messy room. That big cardboard box on my bed is actually where Dorian's uh, cosplay is stored in the attic. And this attaches to this. And it's all just wires. It's all just bits of wire. Uh, it's not high-tech at all. And this is nearly all made of rubber and glue. It's literally rubber reinforced with glue. That's literally all this is. <laughs> right, so we are looking more Dorian-like now. Which is good. What do I need now? The boots! Boots, boots, boots. Boots. Oh no! Not the boots. I need my other gauntlet. Oh god, does it even fit my arm anymore? Yes, it does. Nice! Magic. Sparkly mage coming your way. Okay, now the boots. And I can't tilt down the f that far to show you the boots, but here are here they are before I put them on. I'm quite proud of them. Dorian of House Parks, most recently of Minrathis. How do you do? It?